welcome to season four, episode two. I'm just going to get straight in it today. This is a really good episode. Um, I just really want to watch it, so I don't want to waste any time. Um, so let's just get into it. This fell out of one of Abel's coloring books. He must have found it somewhere in Jax's house. Letters? Maureen Ashby. Trying to turn my son against me. Bitch must have stuffed him in his bag when we left Belfast. And you think Jax wrote him? I am telling you, that Irish gash is reaching across the Atlantic. She can't hear us. This was real. It had blown up by now. So, don't go setting fires when there's nothing to burn. You hear me? I don't do that. Not all the time. He's paranoid. They are both starting to get very paranoid, I think, that the truth is going to come out. Um, Gemma, more than Clay. Clay doesn't show it. He's trying to brush it off and say if it was real, it would blow up by now. Um, but taking that moment there where Clay was by himself and Gemma basically went, um, Clay looked paranoid as shit. He looked like... Yeah, I'm gonna dip into this a little bit. This is actually starting to worry me now. Um, but he didn't want to show it to John. Um, so this could be one of the thing. I think this is gonna be the main storyline of this season of where it's actually gonna kick off. Everything okay? You with us? What are you talking about? I just, I just missed you so much. Ah, Mayor McCheese approaches. Does it bother anyone in this town that their mayor is also their biggest developer? No one no. smells that stuff. All the bodies to bring down property values. Man, no kidding. Good morning. Not if you're Russian. We have no doubts as to who's responsible for this. I'm on it. Clay and his guys did this in the first 24 hours. You run hard at these white trash barbarians, you understand me? This shit cannot happen again. Is that an order from the mayor or the real estate developer? Do what the taxpayers hired you to do. I am all alone. That takes your soul. You're on your own. Gotta look this life. Jax. Please call me Romeo. Good to finally meet you, man. Yeah, thank you for coming up. Just like we discussed, 20% off street tag. There's more. I need bigger. How much bigger? RPGs, 50 caliber machine guns, long range sniper rifles. Uh, run schedule for this weekend, bro. I'll have the Coke ready for you for the run back. Sounds good. We're trafficking blow? No. We're just muling it back. My hands are chopping and distributing. Jesus Christ. Part of the deal. I had no choice. Who else knows? Nobody. That's why you're here. I need you to understand this. Understand what? That you forgot to mention would also be running coke for the Galindo cartel? We voted in selling them guns. We'll have another vote needed to die for what they did to you inside. The Galindo cartel is the only player deep enough to keep the Russians off our back. Oh, don't give me the I did this for you some bullshit. This ain't about me, Clay. And this ain't about the club. This is about you cashing out. I give my whole life to this club. I don't want to walk away with nothing. You pushed a guy off a roof in Belfast for the exact same thing. McGee was a rat. I 
want you to back me. It's the only way this thing passes. If I do this, I'm out when you're out. It ain't that simple. Yeah, it is. When you hand over the club, you push for the president's patch to go to Opie. That's the deal. My out for your drugs. So Clay and Jax just had their conversation. Um, Jax wants out of Sam Crow. Clay is basically said to Jax that his days is numbered at the top of the table. He's got like a year, maybe two. Um, he gave his whole life for the club and he's at the moment he's currently going to be walking away with nothing. Um, and they just had a little disagreement, but also they came to an agreement throughout the end of that conversation that Jax is out of the club when Clay is out. So if Jax backs Clay's deal um, for the drugs, for the club, um, when Clay steps down, Jax walks away and the President's Patch gets handed over to Opie. Um, so that's the deal taking place at the moment. And never will. I think it's worth the risk. We should all think about this. Yeah. Just through. It kills Sam Crow. I love you, brother. But I love this club more. Not gonna let it happen. Do what you have to do. What are you looking for, baby? Um... Not quite sure who I'm talking to anymore. Wow. It's not like you're trying to convince yourself as much as me. These guys are worse than the Irish. Wake up! She looks even more concerned now and worried as hell. Um, that document there, the police report, was basically explaining how he died. Um, it's basically just how I've explained it. He was on the road, on his bike obviously. He went down, slid 170 miles, um, went into a semi, got dragged so many feet and he got taken to hospital and then two days later after being in the hospital he died um that is how his death happened um but the way she looked at that report she wasn't happy that it's been pulled um and if you've noticed you've seen that it was deputy chief's answer signature name um that she did the police report of you know but he signed it cause of death time of death i think that was a police report time of death report sort of thing um deputy chief's answer was actually the one who signed it so he was only deputy chief back then um, so Clay and Answer have been working together for a lot of years, um, but this ain't good. This really ain't good. Gemma knowing that Tara has pulled one of these, um, Tara is trying to build evidence, as much evidence as she can, so maybe she shows it to Jax. And I think maybe that's what Gemma is afraid of. Is she thinking more of the club or is she thinking more of herself and Clay at this point? You locked the door. Didn't mean to. <laughs> He's hungry. Mommy's here, yes. I think Tara knows about John. 
How, how is that possible? John had another role lady in Belfast before he was killed. Yeah, Clay's got a lot on his mind. Best we don't burden him with this shit. Not until we know the fallout. I wanted you to listen to the key words that were just said there. Um, general announcer, right there, that conversation there, there was a few key words that were said that. See, every, all the time in this in this series, throughout the season, every single word that a character says is very important. Um, because you, the first time I watched this, I missed a conversation. And when I was watching the rest of the episode, I didn't really get it because I missed that one conversation that was actually really key and very important. So everything that a character says is very important. Gemma said, Gemma basically said, I think Tara knows about John. And Anta was like, how is that possible? If it was an accident, you wouldn't say, how is it possible like that? Because Jax would have told Tara, or probably has or even already told Tara, that it was an accident, his dad's death. So the way that Anta reacted there shows me, shows everyone else, the saying, how is that possible? It's like there's something more to it. Um, it doesn't. The story doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. So that is one of the key words there. And also one of the key words that Gemma said. Um, John had another old lady in Belfast before he was killed. Before he was killed. You wouldn't say before he was killed if it was an accidental death. So that's another key word that was said there. Um, to be honest, in my opinion, throughout all of this, if it really was an accident, um, his death, they wouldn't all look so worried, all three of them. Um, it wouldn't keep getting brought up in the story. Every single season at the moment, it seems like something about John keep, John's death keeps getting brought up. And everyone wouldn't be so paranoid or have the looks of being paranoid about it. It's just like looking like something just doesn't add up. So in my perspective, the way how Gemma said that, before um, he was killed, he had another old lady in Belfast. And then the way Ansa reacted, the way Clay faces the fate, the way <laughs> the way Clay's face is, of how paranoid he looked when Gemma left, suggests to me that there is more to the story and his death was an accident. It was definitely a deliberate attempt of John being dead, basically. Um, personally, I think. Gemma gave her blessing to Clay to completely kill John. And instead of Clay actually going up to John and being like, yeah, you're dead, bang, with a gun, because I think that would be a bit, a bit unrealistic, wouldn't really make the story good. I think Clay paid someone off to sabotage his bike. And I believe that John did know that his bike was sabotaged, but I think he hated his life, like Gemma said, that much. Um, he knew that Clay and Gemma were getting closer. And he didn't show any jealousy, but he just had enough of all, had the way club was the club was going. Um, so despite knowing that his bike was been messed with and tampered with, I think he got on the bike anyway. And he was just on the road. He was just seeing where it took him, and he went down, and then he died. So that part could have been an accident, but I think someone definitely, definitely tampered with his bike and. I do believe that John would have known if anything was wrong with it the second he, he got on it. Um, being a mechanic and working with bikes that long, being an MC, being in that love with bikes, you would know if something was wrong with your bike if you got on it. So there is a lot of theories and there is a lot of different ways you could look of how he died. Um, and there's a lot more rumours that other characters say later on, so I'm not going to get too deep into it. But that's my theory. That's what I believe what happened. Um, so initially, I believe that Clay and Gemma killed John, um, which is not good because if Jax finds that out, he's gonna um, Clay will be dead. Clay will be out of the club and he'll be dead. Um, Gemma, he may throw a little hate towards her, but I don't think he'll he'll kill her. This this is mum, you know. Um, so let's just keep watching. We talk long enough. Talk about five minutes for about that little little police report, but it, it was it was worth it. It was necessary. It was needed. They made your point. Now it's time for you and the campfire girls to get the hell out. 
There's no brothers on your wall. What's up with that? What's up is not having any brothers on the wall. We got no problem with color. As long as it stays out of charming. Just do what you gotta do. No, this, this feels warm. Might be electrical. You pushed me to this. And I strongly suggest you guys don't do it again. Hell of a honeymoon. Should have just stayed in bed with my wife. The porn star. <laughs> What do you want? Here you're looking for your guns. Where are they? Some of them are right here. You can have the rest when you let them go. That's shit! you guys a really good episode again i'm um, just at the end in there Jax and tara have literally just announced or tara more officially than Jax. i don't think Jax knew it was coming but she didn't tara announced to everybody that they are engaged um so we probably will be expecting a Jax and tara wedding pretty soon um so they're engaged now um they're trying to get into business with the galendo cartel um, you can really really see that most of the majority of the club are not happy about this and um, money or not they're like no they're out um so it's going to be really, really good, I think, to see what members are going to say no and which ones are going to say yeah. Um, I think Tig will say yeah, he'll back play. Um, I think Chibs will be a no. I think Piney will be a no, definitely for sure. Um, I think Juice will be a no. Bobby will be a no. So most of them are pretty much going to be a no. I think Happy will be a no. So I don't see how this is going to pass with most of them being a no. Um, and they've already agreed to it with the cartel, so it's really going to kick off. But I think Opie is seeing what the cartel has to offer on speed dial um, when him and Jax are in trouble. So it might be Opie and Jax and Clay at the moment. That's free. <laughs> I mean, it's better than one or two. So I think they're going to try and um, get people in the club one on one, and try and convince them to say yeah. Um, but I guess we'll see as we get into the more episodes as it goes on. But anyway, I really did enjoy recording this episode and this season so far. It's been a blast. Um, it's getting good. It's getting so blooming good. I don't want to stop watching it. I want to binge watch it all. But I can't. I've got to be somewhere today. Um, what's the time, actually? Do I have time to do one more? I probably have time to do one more. An hour. And then I have to go out. But I don't know if I want to or not. Anyways, regardless, I'll decide that in a minute. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to all the support you guys have given me throughout these reactions. Um, my analytics, again, once again, have spiked up dramatically during just these reactions. Um, even Apex is still doing good, even though it's game related, it's still doing good. But I'm talking about generally these reactions, um, my analytics have spiked right up. So I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't. 
be keep posts of these reactions basically um if i didn't have a feel that you guys weren't enjoying them and i would have probably stopped doing them so it's really good that you guys are enjoying them because i'm going to keep posting them um, but we're nearly near the end we're about halfway through the whole series as a whole um, season four is pretty much the halfway point um, after this we've only got three more seasons left so it is really spicing up but Jax is not even present yet and we're halfway through so like you're gonna know things are really gonna heat up because when there's a more explosive person in charge of a club you know things only hit the fan um, Jax's character is definitely explosive um, the amount of fights you've seen him be and then and, how angry he can get really quickly. He's an explosive character. So um, you'll see how the heat turns up in this season. And maybe in future episodes if he becomes leader of the club. Um, other than that guys I want to say a massive thank you for the support. And I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm out.